What up, what up, what up, it's your girl Kiana Lachey and we are back with another video and I'm super excited to be talking to you guys uh, because I'm noticing something, a reoccurring thing um, in talking to other people and I think that it's something that maybe other people have not considered to do. I know that some people do do this. Uh, so I really want you to really think about if you've had a client and you guys are super excited to get working together and you guys have these goals set and your client's like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And it's supposed to be like all amazing and all these other things. And then maybe by like the second call, right? So let's say you gave them some homework and the second call is, okay, so did you get your homework done? And they're like, no. And then here comes like the list of like questions, or not questions, but reasons why they didn't get done. And you're just like, okay, you know, no worries, I understand. Life happens. And then like, then you get on the next call, because the second call you gave them some more homework. Well, you're like, okay, so get your, get your shit done, right? So then you get on the third call. Did you get your homework done? Um, no, because blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> it's like, you could probably be like watching this and like, yeah, so those are like red flags, like right out the gate like second call, you're not doing your homework. But as coaches, when we're working with a client, we're like so invested in them and we want to help them succeed and we do tend to understand that sometimes you just might not get shit done, right? That's the whole thing. But this is like one of the most important clauses in my contract, which is I can fire your ass. And the reason why that's so important to me is because even though, yes, I know that in the, you know, in the coaching industry, the goal is to get the clients, get the clients, you get the monies, you get the monies, and then we get results, and then happy clients, right? But that doesn't always seem to be how it works out. Sometimes you just so happen to get that client that feels like simply because they invested in themselves, that shit is magically going to work out for them. And we both know that that shit is not true whatsoever, right? And so I have that clause in my contract that says, if you are not doing the work, I reserve the right to let you go. You got to go. No love lost, but you got to go. And this is why I also tell people that work with me, like, look, if you give me 120%, I'm going to give you 120% right back. Right? It's like you can't give me 20 and I give you 120. I can't give you 100 more than what you're giving me. It's your business. It's your life. You know, you're trying to fix your shit. I'm here to help. You know, but I can't do the work for you. And I have talked to other coaches that, you know, they have like that dreadful clients. Like they're not doing the work. They're not listening to me. You know, I know that all too well inside and out. And Yes, I've had to let clients go. And when I say that, people are like, you fired your client? Like, you can do that? Like, what, you think the client can only fire the coach? No, the coach should also be able to fire the client because at the end of the day, even though you're getting money, you're expending so much energy to help someone. It's not usually just a matter of, I just maybe talk to this client once a week. There is so much energy, even if so, that goes into that one hour of coaching. I have found myself so emotionally drained at the end of some of my coaching calls, right? So it's not just about the money. It's it's about you as a coach, right? You, you can't serve a client if your cup is empty. You get what's left over. We got to take care of ourselves. And so I really want you if, you, if you are in this position that you do have a client and it's just like we've been doing this for a month, we've been doing this for two months, like we're not making any progress because the client isn't actually doing the work, you might, it's, it might be time to consider letting them go. Now, I already know the whole like, well, the, you know, this income is, is paying for this or is paying for that. I'm like, and that's fine. I totally understand that. That in itself is a mindset shift. And I know like some coaches like don't have don't like to hear that they themselves have the mindset problem, but you do. Right? So you can't just sit there and say that I'm gonna like keep dealing with this negative energy. Essentially that's what it is, and it's draining as hell because you are worried that you can't get another client within the next 30 days. Because you absolutely can. You absolutely can. And I'm telling you, if you are good at your shit, if you are good at your shit, you will get another client. I had that happen, especially when I was making that shift from being like a web designer 
to really just stepping into like just coaching and letting that be that that I had this web design client and I already lowball I mean lowball like I, I built an e-commerce site so you know any of you that build websites already know that was like a two thousand dollar plus site we're not going to talk about how much I charge but that set the tone for our coaching right off the gate and then it was just like well can we change this can we add this can we do this and it was just like all these little microscopic things um person not getting me something in time or you know the deadline is being pushed by weeks and then weeks and then like some more weeks uh and it would it just was not great for me and I was just like you know what I'm done like the website is done do not ask me for anything else <laughs> you know like I can refer you to people I'm done and you know I was worried because at this time I was trying to step out of like being homeless um you know so it was scary for me but then the next thing you know I randomly get this like super amazing opportunity that just like fell into my lap where I'm now making five times as much five times as much and I'm doing something that I love and I'm doing it with people that are doing the work and it's super amazing at the end of the day again you deserve to fire your clients you reserve that right so if it's not in your contract update your contract today however you need to go ahead and, and, and word that if you don't do the work for a maximum of three calls right then coach reserves the right to let you go without a refund without a refund <laughs> right we ain't giving the money back we ain't already did our part so let me know in the comments if you have ever experienced having that type of client where you're giving your all and they are giving like nothing back they're not doing the work it is a strain it, they are a major headache they are a problem and they are energy draining not because we want to be negative about it but because i just want to show other people that they are absolutely not alone in having to deal with that Okay, so I look forward to hearing your responses and hopefully some stories below. And make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.